WBBM FM, Chicago. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good. It's refreshing. And the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. So chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. Millions enjoy it, and you will, too. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his mama Basco in Italy. Mia. He was always asking me for some pictures, so in today's letter, I'm sending you some. First is the one on the top. No, that's not the Statue of Liberty. That's a picture of Pasquale's a fat door rosa eating an ice cream cone. <laughs> and then, Mamma Mia, next is a Pasquale himself. <laughs> Pasquale's a funny man, Mamma Mia. He's a very kind, wouldn't even hurt the fly. But if he should ask that a fly to marry Rose and that a fly were to say no, ooh, ooh he gets a mad. <laughs> <laughs> and the next picture, Mamma Mia, is the picture of the fly. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Mamma Mia, I'm going to be a bachelor fly instead of being married to Mrs. A Fly, who's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and the next picture is of my night school teacher, Miss Spalding. And next to being a smart, she's... She's a beautiful, and, and between you and me, Mamma Mia, I can't think of a nothing better than to be next to her. Well, I write them all later before I go to my night to school. America, I love you. You're like a papa to me, from ocean to ocean. Oh, Mamma Mia, traffic is a lot tonight, lots hey, of traffic. Hey, you, you want to get killed? Get in that safety zone. Well, I'm standing now, officer. The, the paint is a little bit rubbed off. It is, huh? Ooh. Mamma Mia, only way I can get to school is if I'm a paratrooper and land on the roof. Hey, didn't I tell you to stand in that safety zone? Yeah, but I think of the cars that they all want to stand here with me. <laughs> all right, I'll take you across. Hold my hand. <laughs> You're going to be the boy scout and I'm going to be the old lady. All right. When you're right, you're right, Luigi. That's a bad corner. They should put some fresh paint over the safety zone. Oh, uh, those white lines should be in everyone's direct view. They, they are badly rubbed out. Yeah, but also, who rubbed them out? Who do you think? Those sneaky little devils in the automobiles, that's who! <laughs> <laughs> well, friends, I, I think there's nothing to joke about it, because when you think of those little boys and the little girls who's got to cross over in the daytime and go to school and... and Good then... evening, class. Good, Good evening, Miss Paul. Attention, please. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Harwood? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? I am pleased to announce that not only am I here, but I am in attendance. Ready, willing, and able, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, can't you just say that one simple word, present? Yeah, yeah. I am pleased to announce that not only am I here, but I am in attendance. Ready, willing, and able, I thank you. Present. 
<laughs> oh, well. Uh, yes, Mr. Basco, you have your hand raised. Well, Miss Sparling, don't you think those, those safety zones should be safe? <laughs> well, what brought that on, Mr. Basco? Miss Sparling, Luigi is the old-fashioned type. He thinks that pedestrians should be allowed to live. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, but uh, Miss Sparling, I, I think that's uh, very important. That safety zone near the school is all rubbed out, and it, uh, that's uh, hard to see. What's going to happen to the little boys and little girls when they cross in there and, and the cars don't see it? Well, I know what you mean, Mr. Basco. The safety zones are freshly painted elsewhere. They must have been overlooked here. I'm sure the city will take care of this zone sooner or later. Sooner or later, Miss Pauling, but, but for the little bambini who's going to school, it has got to be now. Sooner or later, it's too late. Well, Mr. Basco, if you feel so disturbed about the safety zone, you have a perfect right to send a letter to the city traffic bureau. Oh, you mean, you mean, you mean to write the letter, huh? She's got a good point, Luigi. Writing couldn't hurt, and who knows? They might do something. Yo ho! Uh, one of the rules of our democracy is that the laws are really made by you. <laughs> 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 oh, listen, you know I love your philosophy. It's so true blue. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, well uh, thank you, friends. I'm, I'm uh, going to write. I'm uh, going to write. Uh, I'm uh, don't know when accidents should have happened here. And you say they're going to listen to me. No, sure, Luigi, they're going to listen to you. And maybe your letter's going to start a whole wave of reform with the traffic rules. Maybe when they get your letter, they're going to decide to make the whole street a safety zone. And the cars are going to have to ride on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, that is not funny. All right. Right, Luigi, let's see what happens. Huh? Maybe they're going to put in more traffic lights, more traffic cops, widen the highways, and improve the lighting system all over the city. Yeah, but Schultz, you, you, you think they're going to do all this uh, when, when they get to my letter? No, but as a living pedestrian, I can dream, can't I? <laughs> Luigi, hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Well, I'm just writing a little letter here about the, oh, the traffic finish. zone, and I'm saying that you please think of the little kids and the paint the safety zone quick. You sincerely, respectfully, and soon are going to be citizen, Luigi Basco. That's a nice letter. You writing your mama? Huh? No, Pascali, this letter is is for the traffic bureau. What? Luigi, don't tell me a cop will give you a ticket for walking faster than 60 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Pascal. I'm just asking the city they should paint up the safety zone on Adams and Peoria Street right in the school. You? You telling the city to paint up their safety zone? Well, sure. Luigi, if I remember correctly, last time they elected the mayor here, they didn't ask you for your advice. Yeah, but Pascali, and, and anybody can write if they want to. Oh, stop, Luigi. I don't know what I'm going to do. Will you always you get those crazy ideas. Yeah, but I was only taught to... Well, get... you think too much. Last summer, during the heat wave, who wrote to the city with the big idea? Air condition the streets. <laughs> I still think it's a good idea. What, to put the electric fans on all the traffic lights? <laughs> <laughs> a stupid greenhorn of boob. You keep sending those crazy letters to the government, they're going to never let you send anything a first-class mail. And then you know what? You're going to be a second-class citizen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Pascal, that's not the truth. It's a, because it's Chicago is a big and it's a beautiful city, and it's a duty of all the citizens to keep it that way. Chicago has big, beautiful buildings, has a fine, wide, big boulevards, Wonderful apart. <laughs> uh, the way you keep blowing about Chicago, no wonder they call it the Windy City. <laughs> <laughs> but, Pascali, all I want to tell them is, is, is they should have put the little white paint on the safety zone so, so the cars are going to see all the little kids. Wait a minute. Wait, I got a better ride. You and the cars should be able to see the kids, huh? That's right, uh-huh. And leave it the safety zones alone and paint the kids white. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, Pascali, you, you, you're making a fun and... And, and, and I'm serious about this. I know you're serious. That's your bigger trouble. Ah, oh, look, Luigi, let's forget about this crazy talk about painting. 
Let's talk of some normal, sensible talk. Well, normal, sensible talk of what's that, Pasquale? Like you married my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the crazy talk. <laughs> If you excuse me, I'm, I'm going to make out the envelope and mail this letter to the traffic department. All right, all right, go ahead, mail it. I've been in America a little longer than you. I know what's happened. What? First thing, when your letter comes to them, they put a mercurochrome bandage on it. Why do they do that? Because it's got to do with a red tape. <laughs> and then, then one fellow finally opens it. He's to say, paint to the safety zones. That's at another department. Other departments, that's in another department. That's the way it goes, like a department store. Yeah, but what what happens to my letter? Now wait, wait, hold on, I tell you. It goes around and around for three, four years, and then somebody finds it. And you know what they do with it? What? They break in a new wastebasket, and yours is the first letter they throw in it. <laughs> Scully, I, I, I don't believe this. All right, don't. Just write the letter, wait around three or four years, like I told you. By that time, your conscience will be clear. Well, uh, what, what do you mean? Well, you don't want the little kids that should be hurt. Is that right? That's right. All right. In five years, if they go into high school, if they can hit that, it's out of your hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pascal. You be funny, but but I'm got a better idea. Huh? What are you going to do? You're going to see, but I'm not going to wait that long. Goodbye. <laughs> Yes, sir. Something I can do for you today? Oh, yes, 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 sir, please. Uh, I'm, I'm like a can of paint. Certainly, sir. What color? White. Oh, it's a little paintbrush. Uh, what kind of white paint, sir? Huh? What kind of white paint? Well, a white, a white a paint. You got it? I mean, we have all sorts of paint, sir. Now, what purpose do you have in mind? We have a paint for metal, another for wood, still another paint for ceilings and walls. Now, just what kind of paint do you need, sir? It's a, it's a, a safety zone of paint. Safety zone paint? That's right. Uh, I'm like a paint that, that's a very, very white, so all the cars, they're going to see it, and the little boys, the little girls, uh, they're going to be safer when, when they stand inside. Oh, I understand now, sir, certainly. Did you want the pint size, the quart, or a gallon? Oh, well, uh, just enough to hold uh, ten little kids, uh, or seven of bigger ones. I'm going to put a lot of paint over here. It's hard to make a straight line when you're painting and trying to not to get to run over. That's no wonder the city is no one to paint. They don't want to lose the people who they got to work it for them. Hello, mister. What you doing? Oh, hello, little boy. Well, I'm, I'm painting the safety zone fresh so, so the people can see it. Oh, that's nice. How you like it, huh? Uh, Carefully, you, you better stand on the side of the Paint is still wet. I wish I had somebody here to stop the traffic so he's no run over my fresh paint. I'll stop traffic for you. Oh, no, 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 no. You stay here. Stay over there now. I'm, I'm going to sing a little song for you. Okay. This is the way we paint the street. To paint the street. We paint the street. This is the, the way, way we, we paint, paint the street. The street. Early Tuesday morning. Hello, hello, Richard. Well, uh, hello, Richard. I'm, I'm going to decide to paint the safety zone myself. How do what you think I'm going to do right? Absolutely, Luigi. The only way to get things done is to do them yourself. Same thing in my house. My wife, Rachel, says to me, Sam, it's about time to paint the house. I say, Rachel, you're absolutely right. I go right out, buy a can of paint and a brush, and Rachel paints the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Horowitz. Uh, Horowitz, you, you, you mind to hold back the, the traffic on this side, please? Good pleasure. Luigi... What are you doing? Hello, Olsen. Luigi decided to take things in his own hands, and he's painting up the same devotion. So. Hooray for the painter man! <laughs> oh, thank you, little boy. Hey, Olsen, uh, please, you help out and, and I hold this uh, paint can, huh? It's, uh, you know, it's uh, pretty hard to crawl in a paint and, and hold the can in my teeth at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you are, uh, will be glad to help you. I want to do something. No, no, you just say that, little boy. Well, they're all doing something. I want to do something, too. Yeah, I know what. I'll keep running across the street to see if the cars can see me. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm doing this for you, little boy. 
I, I know what the you should have got killed. Hey, what's going on here? Well, what's the commotion? Oh, hello, Mr. Policeman. Well, uh, how you like, huh? It's a nice, huh? Are you from the city? Oh, sure. I'm living in Chicago. What? <laughs> sure, that's right. Hey, then you remember me? I'm... I'm with the old lady, you're the Boy Scout. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, you realize what you're doing? Oh, sure, I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm a fixed the safety zone to be safe for, for the little bambini. You work for the city? No, I'm going to work for the city. I'm a Luigi Basco, 21 and not the Holster Street. <laughs> well, this is a job for the city. Rules are rules. Yeah, but uh, Mr. Policeman, I'm, I'm doing the city's a job, but, uh, but I'm not to charge them. I just don't want to be a good citizen. Look, it's a city job, and if anybody does it, it's the facing city property. It's, what are you doing? I'm directing traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Impersonating an officer. No, 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 no. He's, he's, he's an impersonated officer. He's, he's adjusted the traffic, and he's going to give out the tickets. <laughs> Look, mister, this is all very irregular. Officer, don't stop He's doing something that is very good. Yeah, let him alone. Quiet, I don't want to have any trouble. Now, please, Mr. Mr. Policeman, don't blame these people. Don't blame nobody. If you're going to blame somebody, well, all right, to blame me. All right, you asked for it, I'm blaming you. Now, come along, I'm running you in. R- running me in, mamma mia. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that you'll find helpful and enjoyable during a busy day. Wherever you go, whatever you do, keep a package of refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum handy. You see, Wrigley Spearmint gum is a taste treat you can chew and enjoy any time and any place, even when you're busy. What's more, the good easy chewing makes the time pass more pleasantly. It helps keep you feeling relaxed and satisfied. Just slip a stick of Wrigley Spearmint gum in your mouth, chew on it, and see how good it tastes, how enjoyable it is to chew. We know you'll like it, just as millions do. Get a few packages of Wrigley Spearmint and always keep some handy. Remember, that's Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. And now, let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. And I saw, Mamma Mia, I'm, I'm in the worst trouble of my whole life. Tomorrow, I gotta go to the court to appear before the judge. Pasquale has just told me, even if I'm gonna get to be a citizen, I'm never gonna vote because I got to no vote in the machines in the jail. Mamma mia, I thought I'm doing something good for the little kids, and I was a... Luigi, my fellow boobers. Oh, sure, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm got a terrible trouble. Yeah, yeah, I know. Horvitz and Olsen was telling me what, what, what happened. Well, well, uh, what, 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 what happened, yeah. sure, is I'm, I'm a started to paint the safety zone of myself. The cop has arrested me because I make a face on the city property. Horowitz and Olsen is a help me trespass on a policeman, and he's a got to know. Well, Luigi... Are you for shimmelt? <laughs> ah, well, this is going to teach you. Next time you feel the urge to paint, do what any normal citizen does. Go into the subway and paint mustaches on the pretty girl pictures. <laughs> well, sure, so now, now, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm, I'm in terrible trouble. But don't you worry, Luigi. We are all going with you to the court. The whole neighborhood's going to be there. Yeah, but sure, so you, you think this is, is going to be bad for me? Now, Luigi, what can happen to you? Can they give you five years in jail? Can they give you 10 years in jail? Can they give you 20 years in jail? Oh, sure, so can they? It's possible. <laughs> oh, but smile, Luigi. Be like me. Always happy. Always laughing. <laughs> oh! My rheumatism is killing <laughs> Oh, Luigi, 
Judge, is it looking very bad for you in this court? Bad, bad, bad to put the wipers, Scully. They got a no jury in that box. That means nobody's going to listen to your side of the case. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Scully, how, how, how is this possible? Everything is possible. And look on the way the judge keeps looking on you. Yeah, I see that, Pasquale. Hey, Pasquale, why, why, why does he keep looking at me like that? Is he trying to make up his mind if you could last out a life sentence? No, 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 no. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, Municipal Court, Cook County, State of Illinois, now in session. Judge Stanley Mosk presiding. First case, City of Chicago versus Luigi Basco. Luigi Basco, take the stand. Yeah, 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 sir, you judge you. I'm not the judge. Stand here before the judge. I'm not, I'm not Mr. Sadi, please. Clerk, read the charges. Luigi Vasco, 21 North Halstead Street, charged with marking and defacing city streets, collecting a crowd, creating a disturbance, and endangering the lives of bystanders in mid-traffic. Judge, excuse me, please. Is a left out to buy a can of paint. <laughs> I'll have no laughter in this courtroom. I'm sorry, please, Judge, you honor. Uh, Mr. Vasco, how do you plead? How do you plead? Well, Judge, I'm... 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 I'm a plead the word all in my heart. <laughs> Just answer guilty or not guilty. I'm... I'm not the guilty. Good for you, Luigi. Speak up before justice goes blind. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Quiet or I'll clear this courtroom. Mr. Basco, take the stand. Yes, yes, you are a Judge Amaski. Mr. Basco, you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you, God. What do you say, then? <laughs> Just answer, please. Do you swear to... No, no, believe me, I'm a never swear to... My mama and me was a told Mr. me... Mr. Basco, just state that you intend to tell the truth. Well, sure, sure, Judge, I'm, I'm always to tell the truth. Even when you tell us a lie, it's an honest one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Clear out the courtroom, clerk. I told you, ladies and gentlemen, you'll have to leave. Can I stay, Judge? Uh, what? Uh, what's that? I'm not a lady or a gentleman. I'm just a boy, and I'd like to say something for my friend, Mr. Basco. What do you mean? Well, that safety zone he painted needed it. Nobody could see us kids were in a safety zone when, when we were crossing. Did you say he was painting a safety zone? Yeah, the one in front of our school. That's, that's what I tell you, Honor. The policeman is to say I was making a face on a city property. I was only making a face on a safety zone. Please, Judge, believe me, I'm a good citizen. I always try to obey the laws. Sign is a safe, post to no bills. Believe me, Judge, you wanted this, I'm going never do. I take all of my bills to the gas company. <laughs> officer Adams, are you the complaining officer? Your Honor, I'm the officer, but if you please, sir, I don't feel much like complaining. <laughs> officer Adams, I would like to see you for a few minutes in my chambers. There will be a five-minute recess. Court is recessed for five minutes. Well, Luigi, things are starting to go from a waste to waste. Look in the mirror. Already you got that prison paleness. Pasquale, <laughs> <laughs> why, why the judges is it took the officer in the side with him? <laughs> they ain't gonna play a game of Kanatsa. <laughs> Luigi, you got a face of the play and a black of truth. You did you face the crime in front of the public. That's to make you public enemy number one. <laughs> no, Scotty, Mom, I mean, what? Well, Scotty, you gotta help me. I'm, I'm, I'm a no, did nothing wrong, no crime. I... All right, all right, calm down. Take it easy, relapse. <laughs> judges, judges, Luigi, don't understand a plain man's language. They yeah. know only one thing fines. All right, to let him talk. I make out a little check for 500, and you could walk out of here with your freedom. 500? Oh, Pasquale, you, you, you gonna do this in front of me? Sure, little cabbage puss. <laughs> then right after we leave here, I take you to the city hall and you marry Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, freedom. <laughs> I think we still got enough time to break a Rosa the good news. And there she is. Rosa! 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 You call me Papa! <laughs> Yes, my little Cupid doll. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi. <laughs> hello, Rosa. 
Russia. <laughs> Russia? I just decide I'm going to bail in Louisiana this terrible trouble, and then you and him is going to go next door to the city hall for a sight and a license. Oh, goody. Luigi, you bought a dog? Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, court is back in session. Judge Stanley Moss presiding. Mr. Basco? Uh, yes, uh, Judge Ioana. Officer Adams has explained the circumstances of this case to me, and I'm inclined to feel that you acted with the best of intentions and in a manner befitting an exemplary citizen. What is your reaction to the foregoing? I don't know, Judge. I don't understand a word you said. <laughs> well, what I said is that Officer Adams has withdrawn his complaint. Who labeled the officer? My officer, he has an honest face. <laughs> case dismissed. Oh, Luigi, you lucky popsy, you... Oh, Pascale, I'm, I'm afraid, Pascale, I'm, I'm afraid. Sure, sure, little banana nose. I'm glad I didn't have to use my money, but I was ready. Now, uh, what do you say? Uh, you and Rosa go out to the celebrate. I mean, the no, way, no, uh, Luigi, uh, uh, ain't gonna find no excuses today. <clears throat> but first, she's a gonna pretty up for you. Rosa's uh, a gonna go home and put on a lipstick and a paint. Stop for nothing to do, no, Pasquale. You just gave me a good excuse. Uh, what are you talking about? I can't go with Rosa. I had enough of paint for one day. <laughs> Well, Mamma me, I had a very exciting time, but everything has turned out all right. I painted up the safety zone, and now it's so safe. I'm stood in it for three hours today. Not the one in the car has tried to hit me. <laughs> but it was a little accident. The officer was so nice, he helped me with a painting, and he guessed what's happened. <laughs> That's right. He was a hit by one of the kids on a bicycle. You love the son, Luigi Vasca, a little immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum gives you real chewing enjoyment. There's lots of lively, delicious spearmint flavor in Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. It's a flavor that not only tastes good, but also freshens your mouth and sweetens your breath. Besides, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is really smooth and satisfying to chew on. You can chew and enjoy it as long as you want, even while you're doing other things. So do as millions do. Always keep a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum handy so that you can take a stick whenever you want it. Treat yourself often to real chewing enjoyment with Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at the same time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Schiff as Miss Falding, Hans Conried as Schultz, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olsen, Lou Krugman as the cop, Sammy Ogg as the boy, and Herb Butterfield as the judge. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. Time is running out. Time for you to join the fight against your enemy, infantile paralysis. If one day you want to tell your child how you helped find the vaccine which killed polio and saved him, get your help in today. Get your dimes and dollars to your local March of Dimes headquarters before it's too late. Polio waits for no man. Don't make your polio fighters wait too long for your help. Join the 1953 March of Dimes now. Charles Lyon speaking. This is the CBS Radio Network.